Welcome to WP Easy Cart. In this video tutorial, we're going to walk through how to customize the emailers that Easy Cart sends out. And we'll take you through a few steps here and show you some easy ways to manipulate the uh, content in those emailers as well as a few options we have. And also some troubleshooting steps because I know email with WordPress can be challenging at some times. So let's take a look here uh, at what we have. Right now I just have a demo store set up. Um, I also have just my email program open and to manipulate our email we're going to go to settings and we'll jump down here to the customization section which is email and when you open this up this is something you want to do right from the beginning is set up uh, your order emails your customer account emails uh, emails that people would get for things like uh, <coughs> resetting their passwords and this doesn't deal necessarily with uh, actual sending. I'll talk about that a little bit later. If you have trouble sending with WordPress, that's a whole other issue right here. We're just looking at customization. And the first thing we look at, um, what system do you want to use for sending? And by default, we have our email setting up here set to use WordPress mail. And we recommend you always just leave that on. And EasyCart is just going to use whatever method your WordPress site uses to send email. Uh, some servers have a very hard time sending email back to themselves. And what I mean by that is if I have a domain, you know, wpeasycartdev3.com, and I have an email address on there as well, that means I'm trying to send it to and receive it right back on the same domain. And if you're in that situation where you have your email on there, and that can be a challenging situation and so we highly recommend you install an SMTP plugin for WordPress. Uh, you can just go to plugins, you can do an add new, search for SMTP plugins, there's lots of them out there. And the great thing about SMTP plugins is they use authenticated email, they're less likely to show up in junk folders for your customers, and they're also um, something that gets past this routing issue and so they they often have a, a log file as well and that log file is really good because you can troubleshoot whether or not your email is actually being sent or is it a receiving issue and a lot of times you'll find that it's just a routing issue your system is actually sending but they're not receiving and maybe they go to junk mail and so on and so forth so if you're having trouble uh, ever sending email I highly recommend you leave this on and that you go install an SMTP plugin. Um, right now we're going to go ahead and talk about customization and the first thing people want is their order receipts. Uh, when you have a customer place a successful order they get an email saying that their order went through as long as well as their receipt. Who do you want that coming from? and you should have a legitimate business email set up and you can have a custom name here just by following this format uh, you put a business name and you put uh, the email address here and so I'm gonna just gonna type in this test email that I have okay and I can customize this name and I'll show you what it looks like I'll just say my special animal store let's say that's the name of my business and if I want to I can go ahead and send a test email and the test emails are gonna go to whatever you have in your admin email address and this is great too because your whoever you put here for the email address is going to receive uh, the same customer notifications that users get so if you want to be alerted every time there's an order make sure you put an email address in here. If you have another one, you can comma separate these like sales2 at wpzcarddev3.com and you now can have all all parties will get the email when an order comes in. Uh, the customer plus these two right here. But let me show you what this uh, order receipt from does. So I'm going to go ahead and hit send test and it will send out a sam sample email. I'll go ahead and get rid of the second email. I don't really need it in this test. And I'm just going to jump over here to my email program. 
and you'll see that I got my emails come in and this is where the from address instead of having a long email address you can actually have a custom you know my special animal store or whatever masked uh, the from address and if you open these this just means that you actually have an actual email getting sent so it's a good thing to run these tests uh, properly just to make sure you're getting them um, you'll also check um, a few other settings down here for example if you want to start testing orders and if I jump over here to my orders panel I have all these dummy orders in here uh, it's always nice to place one yourself and then you can use that order number to actually send yourself an actual order email so 5714 I'm just going to jump back here and I can do resend order ID so I could just type in 5714 and resend order email and that's going to shoot out the same exact uh, confirmation that you get so you can see here this is an order confirmation order number 5714 from my store name and if I open it up I can see exactly what it looks like the customer would be getting so it's a great test to see what does all the the data look like um, do you want to customize the language in it so on and so forth uh, including the logo so let's do that let's take a look at how we customize that if we jump back here uh, you'll see that we have a logo for example um, I can go ahead and uh, remove that you can upload an image if you want to to your media library you can change it however you want I'm gonna go ahead and pick a little smaller image here so this will show up at the top and then we also have some phrases over here these are all the phrases inside of your order and you can go through these are kind of paragraphs um, some of these read into dynamic data so like this one where it says thank you for your order your reference number is and then we will generate this section so it's not something you'd probably want to mess with uh, but some of these are just regular paragraphs and you could actually inject your own writing there uh, your own phrases Now if I want to add thank you for for visiting our site okay I can go ahead and resend this and we'll just check out what it does you know another popular option here is whether or not you want the email on the receipt let's just go ahead and turn it on so we can kind of see what that looks like if I jump over to my email and view it you'll see I have a smaller logo uh, I do have the actual email address on here uh, I've re never really understood why you'd want that but um, I mean the customers got the email so they know their own email address um, but maybe as an admin you want to see it show up um, and you can see on here you know we value your business we hope you enjoy these are all the paragraphs that you would see here's the one we updated please keep this record thank you for visiting our site so if you want to update each of these paragraphs, you certainly can uh, with our uh, text lines over here on the right-hand side. And these are all the phrases. You can certainly manipulate those. Uh, the next one is uh, also whether or not you want the product images. You know, you can turn that off if you don't feel like you want product images on your email. I know there's some businesses that do uh, do things without real products so they use like a logo for their for their products but is an option you can turn that off and it would come across just as line items like this without the images I always like to have them on there for most of my situations uh, the other item you might want to customize here is your uh, customer accounts and what we do with customer accounts is let's just go ahead and jump out here to our store is we have the my account section and if users come in here and they forget their password it's nice for them to go ahead and do a retrieval password that's where you want to have uh, a special email where's it coming from um, it could be just uh, you know the same one that you have over here that's certainly fine to do and that's what most businesses will do is have the same as their order receipt just make sure you customize it so um, users see that <clears throat> the uh, 
the other uh, customization, and this one's kind of hidden, is sometimes users like to have some custom email uh, message per product. Let me send one out here again just to show you what I mean. And if they order a specific product, sometimes it's nice for you to be able to customize a message or give the user a URL link specific for that email. And let's say this order uh, comes in with this spotted shirt. And when, they, when a customer orders that, you want to have some custom text in here just for that product. Maybe send them to a special page or send them to a member's content page. The way you do that is you open up your product and let's say we're working with that spotted shirt and we can scroll down through here and one of these is our notes and we have order completed note, our order email note, and our order detail note. And if you go to the order email note, you can type in a special message with a custom link and you can make that a custom link let's say I'm just gonna have it jump out to Google and you can update this and now when anybody orders this product and it comes across on their receipt they will actually get that special message in here on the actual email um, it makes a nice little touch especially if you're selling membership content or subscriptions or need some more information from them. Um, the other areas you could mess with here are the completed notes and that would show up on your thank you page and then the order details notes would actually show up in the user's account um, when they view their past order. So we give you a lot of ways to customize per product the message that goes out to the user. So that's just one extra kind of hidden uh, email section that a lot of people like to use. So again, that's kind of our email customization piece. Uh, first is the actual sending. Again, we recommend an SMTP plugin, but this may work right out the box for you. Uh, we recommend you go through and set this up, including set a logo for your business. Uh, we also recommend then uh, just making sure your email addresses are set up. And we have an example right here for you to do as well. So that's our email system for designing. Uh, if you want more advanced design, we do have our themes child uh, theme system. Uh, it works very similar to WordPress theme uh, child themes where you can actually customize the PHP code in your HTML emailer. So if that's something you're looking for, you might look in our documentation about working with uh, child themes and that's definitely an option if you want a higher customization level than just working with these paragraphs. So that's it. Uh, if you're curious about more design features, we're going to have more videos on our actual design pages, our language. Uh, be sure to check those out in our video library. Thank you.